Welcome aboard the Invincible 2, Captain. Glad to have you here. Took you long enough, but let me give you the grand tour before we embark. This is my pride and joy. My baby. Well, your baby, I guess now. But I made her. And a baby will always remember. Father. I understand. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works in order to use it. And when we found it again, it passed every safety test with flying colors. It's not gonna be like last time. Oh, no. This time, the Invincible is finally gonna live up to her name. But just in case, I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. And speaking of explosives, the main reactor. Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole, so a star I built. Built like a tank, too. <laughs> He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Cryo. Colin. Hey, hey. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the warp core hits the gas. CC. Asshat. Captain, all colonists are prepped and stable. 100,000 souls ready for a new life. Let's get them there safe. Oh, don't worry. Before they know it, they're gonna wake up at the sight of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. Besides, what could go wrong with a crew like this? ADS is good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. Handsome and her beautiful. Hey, watch! Oh no, Captain, I'm falling! Catch me! Navigation is online, Captain. Engines are looking good, Captain. Flight support is online, unless it's not, and then we wouldn't know until we passed out. Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. All that's left now. Say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. <coughs> Warp call engaged. Wormhole opening in 30 seconds. All parts now report to your side the crime pod. Ah, it's alright, Captain. I, ooh, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course, but just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not! Wormhole opening in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? Fire on the bridge. Light support 
automatic fire suppression system offline. Air in the go in there. Fix. Fix. After all, so I should be able to fix it. I won't let you down. My blood got on the DNA scanners. They recognized me as me and stopped shooting long enough for me to fix the system. I don't know why they were shooting at me in the first place, but I'll run some diagnostics now that the ship seems to be out of imminent peril. Coolant leak in cryo. Computer, what happened to cryo? Maintenance. Maintenance? Shutting down. What? Why? Oh, whatever! Negative 200 degrees in there. We gotta fix it fast or we're gonna start losing colonists. What should we do, Captain? What should we do? And this is on the we, together, as a collective unit of cooperation. Do you mean? But I just did the repair thing. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, it's not my place, but maybe you can take a swing at this one. Leave from the front or something like that. <laughs> But, 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 Captain, but, Captain, I, 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 re I, I really don't want to do this. It's really cold in there. And, and, and so I thought maybe I could, maybe I could warm up a little bit, first. or you can stop head for me. Or, or maybe you think you are! engineering expertise needs to enter this room. No. No. It's not fair. I've done my part. You wouldn't. Captain, wait! You're not going to the airlock, are you? Okay, great. Sorry, Captain. For some reason, and I know it's crazy, I had this bizarre feeling like you were going to throw yourself out of the ship's airlock. <laughs> Like I can see it in my mind's eye. To... Captain, no! Captain, I knew it. I knew you were gonna throw yourself out of the air. How did I know that? Captain, wait! What do you think this is going to achieve? is nominal. Oh, morning, Captain. How'd you sleep? Good? 
Oh, man. Are we early? I didn't expect it. I'm flattered, I'm but could you let go of my hand? <laughs> Thank you. Captain, are you feeling okay? Yep. You seem a little stressed. I know that cryo sleep can affect everyone differently, but coffee always helps. Relax. You did it. You got us here safely. Take a moment to enjoy it. Stresses redlining across all decks. How did Mark even cause this much damage? What's this activate the protocol? Event Horizon protocol activation successful. Ship is free from the effects of the wormhole that was caused by Mark. Does this feel Fire on the bridge. Fire extinguished. Life support systems fade. Oxygen levels rising. Asteroid defense system is offline. Asteroid defense system online. Warning. Could be in control. Colonist core temperature stabilizing. Our ship, and I know it looks bad, but usually it's a lot better. Not you. You. Everything that you destroyed. Everyone that you have killed, you are going to undo everything right here, right now. Warning, reactor overload. Please resolve paradox. 
Emergency Wiki Wiki Protocol Override Acknowledged. Opening Cryopod. Am I? Are you? Did I? Did you? Did we? <laughs> We're immortal! Or something like that. I distinctly remember falling through that door and then ending up in the center of a star. And then slowly feeling the flesh melt from my bones. But I'm alive! And you're alive! And I remember. And you remember, right? This is incredible! Computer, activate the emergency repair protocol! Oopsie boopsie protocol engaged. Full system reset in force. System rebooted. Reviving true. Backup systems engaged. Okay. Uh, computer, can you shut down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay, so the wormhole's still a problem, and my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two immortal gods like us. The way I see it, all we need to do is keep jumping in, and eventually, we'll find the right door, we'll get to the warp core, shut it down, save the colonists, and then you and me can enjoy our newfound powers until they slowly drive us mad and turn us away from everything we know and love. <laughs> so what do you say? Come on, let's jump in again. What's the worst that could happen? We could die again, I guess. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. They deserve to know what's happening. And they might have some ideas how to solve this. Probably not good ones. What if we back the ship up into the wormhole? What if we pop her in reverse and just undo all the wormhole stuff? Okay, Mark, I owe you an apology because obviously you're not the stupidest person on this ship. Thank you. Hey, Captain! You never do my stuff. Clearly, we need to send out a distress signal because someone sabotaged this ship. You know, now that you mention it, some of the damage on the ship did seem intentional. I think someone needs to go over every inch of this ship and do some crap. No, 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 no. No one sabotaged the ship because the only two people that can change anything on the ship are me and the captain. And the only person that I trust more than myself is the captain. And two, how could anybody find us if we don't know where we are? That's my point exactly. We don't know where we are, we don't know how we got here, and we have the lives of the colonists at stake. Or... Hear me out. No, no, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. And I'm sorry, it's not up to you. It's up to the captain. They haven't let us down yet. That's true. So I'll defer to your wisdom. What do you say, Captain? What's the plan? How are we getting out of this? Captain? No, you can't possibly think about that. Hey, you heard the captain, and they know what's best. I know, and this is such a horrible idea, it's gonna kill all oh, of us. Relax, the captain knows what they're doing, don't you, Captain? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm crazy. We're all gonna die. Oh my god, for once in your life, just step back and put your faith in proper leadership. You got this, Captain? I'm sure that there's some way that we could resolve this amicably. <laughs> the repugnant odor only deepened Wug's disgust for what must be the ugliest member of their species, and yet the leader. Wug had never laid eyes on a creature so handsome and or beautiful. Those eyes, they captivated Wug, glimmering like the great forests of Wug. Maybe there was hope for this species yet. We At least they didn't seem like a violent species. Wug doubted that they knew about the ancient peace treaty. An attack on one Wug was an attack on all Wug, as the saying goes. And yet, part of Wug wanted them to attack Wug. Something in Wug's blood yearned for the primal satisfaction of savage destruction. Just like Wug's ancestors. Wug like helping, but Wug also like hurting. Oh. Oh. 
Maybe we are, maybe we aren't. What's it to you? Actually, wait, no, we aren't. The only thing we're trying to destroy is ourselves, and once we're done doing that, we're getting the hell out of here. Oh, you really expect me to believe that you two just accidentally created the largest, most destructive one more the universe had ever seen? One that is growing larger by the second and threatens to consume every universe ever in existence unless you shut it down. So there I was, caught between a rock and the universe's biggest wormhole. As terrifying as it sounded, I couldn't help but be proud of the thought that I, the greatest investigative engineer in all of history, had found the device that would create the largest wormhole the universe. No, 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 no. This, is, this is not something to be proud of. No listening in on my monologues. That's against the rules. You barbaric idiots. You have no idea what you've done, and now the universe can... Now, I ain't here to cause trouble. I just heard there was a bit of a wormhole-related issue that needed fixing, and I just happened to be a bit of an expert in that department, see? So... All right. Okay. We'll hear you out. You did it with you. Harvey, damn. We made it. You guys were flying around in this thing? Ah, uh, well, she's seen better days. Computer, where's the crew? Uh, computer? The school is offline. That's normal, right? That's just how your people build computers, right? Well, that's not... not how it's been in the past. Is that your crew? Do they need help? Well, they probably don't not need help. The captain can check on them. Go on. Yeah. Well, you're the captain. You're in charge of the crew and morale and speeches. That's not me. Well, that's not me. Morning, Captain. How'd you sleep? Good? You feeling good? This is just how human ships are. Please tell me this is just how human ships are. Well, they're not... not like this sometimes. Uh, one of your crew members, an important one, I uh, forgot my keys at the bridge. Could you uh, open the door for me? Uh, 
Well, well before we do that, that, can you can tell, tell us which crew member, member you are specifically? Mm, you know, it's not really important who I am. What's really important is that you need to open this door and quick. <laughs> I've got a uh, dark surprise for you on the other side. It's very um, dark. Wait, wait, just think of this as the dark path to get the, uh, the water car. Just use the device and get us the hell out of here. Why are we standing around like morons? Just get the hell out of here. Hey, we still have to save the ship. You didn't tell me how messed up your ship is. Don't insult her. She's got character. Yeah, I've got character. Just open up this door and see how much I've got. Do not open that door. Do not let anyone tell you how to do your job. You're the boss. But maybe we don't do that. If you say so, Captain. I trust your judgment. Most of the time. Why is this happening? No, really. Why am I going along with this? Uh, the Captain kind of has an effect on people. You get used to it. But, um, have you seen the door to our warp core? Come on, Captain. It's time to finally end this. That is if 
that thing actually works. I guess I still have a lot left to learn about wormholes. You do know how to use that thing, don't you? Unfortunately, they do. Don't you, Captain? Oh, not again. This is my last chance. This is the last chance to save the universe. So I am begging you. Give me the crystal. Hey, that's a nice bracelet you got there. Sure would be a shame if the computer activated the defense turrets. Sure would be a shame if uh, the computer inverted gravity. Would be terrible if the computer vented all the oxygen. Would be, that'd be bad. It'd be so bad. So <laughs> bad. Yeah, we want the same thing here, which is why it's important we test out the event horizon. Didn't feel a thing. Okay. <laughs> there will be no self-destructs. No. no defensive measures. No, no. venting. Ow. Nothing. There will be nothing. Because I have fixed every system on this ship. And I have overridden every insane and violent contingency that you could possibly ever have. Why are there, why are there, so, why are there so many self-destructs and just like one repair protocol? You wouldn't get it. It's a human thing. No, 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 it's not. How many people have died because of your carelessness? And how many universes have you destroyed? Whoa, why so mad? We're just gonna reset things and fix it, it's fine. That's not how it works, you reckless, careless, idiotic monsters. These aren't second chances. Every mistake has cost the lives of people who have trusted you. The multiverse is littered with the corpses of your failures. So unless, unless we can undo whatever it is you're about to do, then every living thing in existence will be snuffed out forever. Oh, we're not, we're not trying to hurt anybody. We're just trying to save our people. We, the captain wouldn't do that. <laughs> captain, you wouldn't let that happen, would you? I'm done being nice. Give me the crystal. No, 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 no. Or am I? <laughs> okay, okay. You win. You win. Can I have my no, hand back? Oh my god. Oh, I think I broke something. Oh, oh please. Oh please help me. I need help desperately. Friend of mine. Oh, close confidant. I, I, I'm starting dangers in conversation. That's it. Close, yeah. Hey, Doc! Yes! Ah! I won't let you do it! I won't let you destroy the universe! I'll stop you! Don't move! Don't do anything! Whatever you do, unless that's what you did! And then do it! I dare you to do it! Whatever you do, don't not do it! Captain. I can't let you win. This is the final confrontation. 
good versus evil, the hero versus the villain. Justice will prevail on this day! First, I need to test out the Event Horizon Protocol. The hand. Fix the problem once and for all. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Well, when you've tried everything else, there's really only one more thing left to try. The advisor designated location outside the universe. I know. That's the point. Warning. Could have unforeseen consequences. Suffering that you caused, I forgive you. It's all in the past, or the future, or um, that that will never be because I beat you. <laughs> Everyone can finally go and live their infinite lives in peace. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I bet you're confused, aren't you? Hmm? Or maybe you're disappointed that you don't get to destroy the universe. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you will no longer put the universe in imminent peril. With your reckless rampage. Are those credits? Uh, that can't be good. We're just tying up some loose ends. No, 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 no. What have you done? I, I just saved the universe from the captain's rampage of destruction. And apparently from you too, whoever you are. Error, unable to resolve, paradox detected. You? You did this? It was you? Wait, you're gonna have to be more specific. I've done a lot of things. Infinite paradox detected, universal collapse in the Turn it off. You have to shut it down. You have to. Oh, uh, well, maybe that's not the worst idea in the world. Oh no, you don't get your blow up! I'm the one that blows rings up! Oh, you think you're better? 